Hi, this is PC Roger. What I want to show you on this short video is how to edit a song you may have downloaded for free off of YouTube with Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10 and other versions will be similar. Now, to download a song off of YouTube isn't really rocket science. A lot of people have been doing it for a long time. I have two particular add-ons to download things from YouTube. One is the Download Manager and it's up here in the top and uh, unless you have paid for the uh, the premium version, which I have not done, you cannot download straight to MP3 or M4A, but you can get a copy of the file itself, the actual movie file. Now if you scroll down here just a little bit, you can see where another add-on allows you to just, uh, just integrates a download button and allows M4A, which they claim is best quality, and MP3 and a couple different uh, uh, bit rates there, or the actual movie itself. And that's kind of handy, with the exception that in this case, the song, even though it's pretty good quality, it's got some silence at the beginning, a little bit at the end, and then it kind of you know, bangs in the way I, to the actual uh, uh, song. And I'm not sure that's natural the way it was designed. Kind of like to soften that just a little bit. Now you can see in the Add-ons Manager here, Download Helper is what I use. This is the one up in the top here, which is very convenient, but not not for music if you don't pay for it. The Easy YouTube Video Downloader, I have the premium version of it also, but it is ad-supported and I, I just downloaded this uh, and installed it, and I did not get the little checkbox to install other softwares with it, which is supposedly how it is supported. Now, maybe we'll get that in the future, but if you uncheck those boxes to install any additional software, it should be essentially free, even though it's the, uh, the upgrade there also. But in this case, since I do want to make some edits, I can use Download Helper, and, and that's fine. I don't need to go straight to MP3. It won't do me any good unless I use an actual audio editor, which I, I'm not doing right now. But I have downloaded the file, and we are going to open Sony Vegas Movie Studio here. I'm going to just drag in the movie file here. Now what I've actually done here is, is ungrouped and removed the video track, which you do not have to do. I just did that to avoid any copyright infringement or anything. I'm trying not to actually show the movie or even play the, the song because I don't know about the, the rights to it. Chances are the person who uploaded it does not have the rights to it. But this song uh, was not available for purchase anywhere that I could find, and that's not that uncommon with soundtracks. A lot of times there'll be a, a good song that's never released. So if the uh, copyright owner comes along to a website, I'll say, hey, you know, <laughs> where can I buy it? But as you can see, it, the song does taper off at the end. And there's maybe just a little bit of extra uh, silence at the end. I might trim just a little bit of that. But at the beginning, there's some silence, and then just kind of boom, it's, it's all right there. And and that may not be that may not be natural. Now, if you click the little plus here, you can kind of get an idea of how many seconds uh, we're looking at uh, here. One, two, three, four, probably you know somewhere in the neighborhood of five seconds that we can we can trim off of here maybe a little bit less than that and I'll just go ahead and click on that and hold the shift key and arrow all the way to the left now, I do have auto ripple on and I'll click delete and we'll get rid of that now, the next thing I want to do here is I want to click on insert audio envelope and volume now we have this blue line through here now what I want to do is go ahead and maybe here at about the five second one of these things is where you just kind of kind of have to try it a little bit or maybe I'll go over to four and right click and select add point now what I can do is go ahead and pull this whoops, carefully pull down just the uh, initial point all the way down so we get a fade on you can see that fade line is kind of cutting through that initial bounce now that doesn't cut it off as much as you might think and we are just trying to get a fade and then at the end Okay, and I'll just go ahead and trim off maybe uh, a couple of seconds here. It really wasn't too bad. Now you can play it and, and see for yourself you know, what you think is correct and uh, hit delete. Same thing. Now at this point we have the track edited and you select uh, Project Render As and here in the drop down Save As Type I've got MP3 Audio selected and I'm just using the default template and it's a 256K which is probably equal to or higher than what it is uh, on YouTube and I'll just name it and it'll render here pretty quickly 
And now it's done here, it really didn't take very long. And if we open the folder, we can see here's our song. Here's our actual movie file. And it is, uh, it's about, I don't know, it's like maybe a three minute, 40 second song, 6.9 megabytes. So it's uh, it's got, the, the, I think, the quality in there. Now if we right click it and select properties and then click on the details tab, we can actually set some of these uh, fields if we want to for title, um, album artist, we can put who it is. I'll just put and I think the year was 1988 and the genre I think I'll just put uh, 80s and again we're not uh, not debating the quality or value of 80s music in general but we're uh, just kind of trying to mark it for what it is and we hit OK and now you can play that mp3 file on any of your normal devices and it's all edited so there's uh, going to be a link in the description of the video, and I'll try to stick an annotation in here where you can click on that and go to my website and catch a link for uh, the programs that I've mentioned here. And again, like I say, you can download uh, kind of easily off of YouTube, and it's not really that hard. To, uh, but the edits in Sony Vegas Movie Studio is just one way to do it. There are others, and this is something I'm comfortable with because I did want to fade that front and cut off some silence and cut off some silence at the back end. And it really didn't take very long. It took, <laughs> took a lot longer to do it for the video than it did when I just uh, opened it up and, and did it for myself. But hope that's been helpful. Hope you stop by my website, and we'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching.